Arthur Connor's father used to be an old-time claw hammer banjo player years ago. But old-time music, the banjo, and a crooked road winding through the Blue Ridge Mountains had all been around for centuries before Arthur Connor's father started to play. Uh, my daddy was an uh, old-time claw hammer banjo picker one time. I, I never did hear him play, but he, he was supposed to be a young man, supposed to be a pretty good picker. The Crooked Road is Virginia's Heritage Music Trail, a series of roads through ten counties in the southwestern part of the state, thought up in 2003 to increase tourism in the area. The old-time music tradition of the region is alive and well, and the music continues to bring communities together, as it has for centuries. And that's the kind of music this is. It's a... Uh, it's it's acoustic. You don't have. I mean, you can just at a spur of the minute you get your instruments and start playing with no plugging in or nothing and dealing with anything. Just go to it. But it happens in people's houses and and every little stop along the way, stores. And, uh, there's just lots of it, and and I think that it'll probably always be that way. It's a folk music. I guess. You know, when we play in the jam here, or when my wife and I play at home, you know, it's something to do together. Old time music comes straight out of music traditions brought to America by European immigrants, with influences from African slave music as well. The music has always been a way for rural Americans to entertain themselves, and to distract themselves from the hardships of life in the mountains. In rural America, historically, people have always had to find a way to entertain themselves because they didn't have multiplexes and strip malls and movie theaters and all that sort of thing. Old time and bluegrass jams, like this one in Independence, Virginia, are scattered all along the Crooked Road. People from all walks of life gather wherever they can, intent on making music. Some are professional musicians, but most just have a natural love of music. The instrument at the heart of any old-time tune is the violin, otherwise known as the fiddle. It carries the melody in all of the old songs, and in a lot of old-time jams, the fiddler calls the tune. A violin, something else. How much you know about a violin? This is Arthur Connor. Arthur knows just about everything there is to know about the violin. He's been making fiddles for about 40 years now at the home he built for himself and his wife outside of Floyd, Virginia. E, A, D, and G. And then you got some sharps, flats, and what? In between, some what else? <laughs> <laughs> and that little neck, and that neck from right there to right there is, is everything it's ever been, I guess. I mean, never know, ever. I've made over a hundred. Wow. Two, two bass fiddles, half a dozen cellos, and violas, and five string. I, me and Ricky Skaggs is more or less the daddy of the five string fiddle. I don't know if you've heard of, heard of it. Arthur's instruments are of the highest quality. He learned to make them by studying books about the Stradivarian Garneri families. He carves his fiddles in a one-room schoolhouse that he turned into a workshop. Many of them are carved from the spruce and maple trees that grow on his land. All of the instruments are beautiful, but for Arthur, the music is more important than the look. Well, I don't, the looks is secondary to me. I'm interested in the music of it, the music quality. Uh, I've done lots and lots of drawings for you. Looks can be deceiving. This is Willard Gayhart, a soft-spoken Kentucky gentleman. 
To look at him, you wouldn't know that he is, in fact, an incredibly talented visual artist and gifted bluegrass musician. I'm a product of the Appalachians. I grew up in Kentucky, uh, near Hazard, Kentucky. Willard loves to draw. He described his drawings to me as paintings in graphite because of their scale and detail. His love of traditional music is reflected in the subject matter of his drawings. His love of music and art was encouraged when he moved to Galax, Virginia. But when I came to Galax, there was music everywhere, and there was uh, lots of art, too. But there was a lot of, of positive things that spurred me on in, in that direction. It's... Willard does not like to categorize music, except into good music and bad music. But he does make a distinction between bluegrass and old time. Bluegrass is a style of music that evolved out of old time, created by Kentucky musician Bill Monroe and his band, the Bluegrass Boys. Bluegrass has a crisper sound than old time, with more focus on harmony singing, while old time is less formal and is often used as dance music. The bluegrass is a good, wholesome music, and I think it, 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 it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing uh, for people. Some of the old songs were sad songs. A lot of tragedies, I guess, they wrote about in the old days. Old time is inspired by hardship. People played music to forget about life in the coal mines, or the lumber mills, or the textile mills. Unfortunately, a lot of those mines and mills have closed, and life is still hard along the crooked road. Mm. This is David Williams, a North Carolina musician I met on the road. His song is about the questions and troubles left in the hearts of the employees of a furniture mill that closed down, a problem all over the South. It's not old time, but the song continues the tradition of singing about the hardships of Appalachian life. These hands, these hands, oh look at these hands, so battered and scarred from work of a man. And I worked real hard, old, to build a good life for me and my children and my dear wife. Well, he dropped out of school at the age of 16. He followed his daddy to the factory routine. He remembered him well. So bent and so bowed, and he spoke of his work, of which he was proud. <coughs> these hands, these hands, oh look at these hands, so battered and scarred from the work of a man. The sorrows of hard times and hard work are countered in the traditional gospel songs which are full of promises of salvation, rest, eternal life, and hope for the future. But here's an old traditional gospel song that everybody knows. It. 